Well, first and foremost, it's a great gift. You know, it mightn't, you mightn't experience it that right away. You might feel the, the, a kind of tension or a struggle with it. Um, but ultimately, if God is calling you to this way of life, it's because He knows with your personality, He created you. He knows your personality, your gifts. He knows this is where your happiness lies, in this way of life, in the long term. And your yes to that will be a gift to yourself and to others, and not to be afraid of it. You know, the Lord, in, in the, in, I remember reading this in the Bible that he tells us 365 times in the Bible, do not be afraid. You know, and, and it's and Pope John Paul II repeatedly made that a motto of his pontificate, do not be afraid to young people, to offer yourselves to Christ and he will give you so much in return. Uh, there's no doubt the pressures of society really play a part in that in family life as well. So we need to, families really need to encourage young men and women who are experiencing that, that draw and that desire for religious life or priesthood. Um, but ultimately I would just ask them to have courage and trust that the Lord knows what he's doing when he's calling you. He knows that he's seen something in you from all eternity, that you are to be uh, a preacher of his gospel or a person of prayer to bring others to him. And, there, and, and for me, as a, as a priest, I don't think there's not a greater gift um, that I can uh, do with my life but to say yes to the Lord in that way. And so just to encourage them to follow that. Very quickly, even though I've only been ordained a week, uh, just over a week, very much, very quickly you really see how much people love their priests and need their priests and how much that they, they see you as a father figure. So obviously in a biological sense I, don't, I will not, I'll not have a family but in a spiritual sense I'll have a lot of uh, close friends and, and, and family members within the church and so the priest is called to love in a partic very particular way and it's not a waste of life. A waste of life is not being true to who you are, is not to, you know, is to drift through life without ever answering the deeper questions or, or giving yourself to something that you, you've, you're convicted is true. You know, and that's a waste of life for me. Um, a life with no purpose, and yet the life of a priest, the life of someone of faith, has a very definite purpose. So it's very, it's absolutely not wasteful at all. Wasteful in the sense that if you view this world as only material things that we need to use and accumulate, then waste because obviously we take a vow of poverty, but we take a vow of poverty so that we're free and liberated in a deeper sense to be able to serve people. So for me, it's, it's actually a, a full life and a joyful life, not, not a waste. So, um, but again, you, need, you would probably need faith to really understand that, but hopefully people will in the long run.